Welcome to Own Your Story, a podcast series by CF Communications about communication trends, best practice, and advice for entrepreneurs, small business owners, and larger organizations. If you want to know more about public relations, podcasting, content marketing, social media marketing, and digital marketing, this is the podcast for you. Welcome to Own Your Story. Today, we're going to talk about uh, what is public relations. Uh, for many people, there isn't much difference between marketing and public relations, unless you work in the industry. It's tough to tell exactly what separates the two, um, and keeping up with recent PR trends and digital jargon is quite the undertaking, unless you're like in the industry and you live and breathe marketing like we do. So, first question, what is public relations? Kathleen, tell us all about it. Okay, Tim. So much of the confusion between marketing and PR comes from their overlapping objectives. It's true that both marketing and PR serve to improve the public standing of a company, and often marketing and public relations work together as part of a comprehensive campaign. Now, understanding the difference between the two and when to use them could help you um, bring new growth into your company. As marketing and PR professionals, we're often asked about this difference. And while both activities work to improve the standing of the company, the main difference between marketing and PR is their primary focus and the methods used. The ultimate goal of marketing is to increase sales through marketing campaigns such as pay-per-click advertising, SEO, email marketing, and content. On the other hand, PR strives to develop positive brand awareness through effective messaging and communication with the public. This includes coverage in the press, relationship building, and social media. In a better effort to define the two, marketing is usually a paid-for endeavor through advertising, whereas public relations is a free endeavor through earned media in the press or online. On the other hand, public relations strive to develop positive brand awareness through effective messaging and communication with the public. This includes coverage in the media, relationship building, and social media. To better define the two, marketing is usually a paid-for exercise through advertising, whereas PR is a free exercise through earned media in the press or online. Okay, that's cool. So, okay, wait. So, how does, what is like a general overview of PR services entail? Like, what, what can you expect when you sign up with an agency? Like, what do you get? Okay, so with the main objective being the development of a positive brand image, PR is a bit of an all-encompassing term. When your business takes the, undertakes the services of a PR agency, the PR agency will start with looking at your core messaging. They will look at who you are, what you stand for, your tone of voice, your authenticity in your company, and the stories that make your company unique. We'll take that and we'll put that into your brand story and That brand story pulls through in all your communications, whether that's on social media, in newsletters, to the actual media out there, um, your communication with competitors, your communication with your um, clients, and also if you're at events or you're networking. So communication and messaging is, is very much a call to PR and creating a positive brand experience. So as an example, we give you this training when you start. You, you sign up and your messaging becomes part of your marketing collateral so that you know how to communicate with whoever it is out there, which will help you in either a crisis situation or just in general communication. You need to know what does my brand stand for? And that is how you push all your communication out. So if you're looking at the general services that that forms part of the PR package, it's communication, it's messaging, it's dealing with the media themselves, arranging press conferences, event marketing, dealing with influencers, crisis management, social media marketing, content marketing, blogging, Mm. writing articles. That's your practical examples of the services that you would get from a PR agency. So... For example, if a client signs up, that we would give them a brand audit, um, create your messaging, create your editorial guidelines. You would um, get media relations training for your spokespeople. 
uh, professional photographs taken of that as something that you don't have. Um, you could have brand, the, the individual, the spokespeople could have brand training, how to bring themselves across, how to be their best selves. And then we go into the actual communications, who are we going to speak to, what are we going to talk about, what are the topics that's important to our company and to our industry, our members, if we have members, our clients, if we have clients, what are the things that we know that we sit on as a company that people out there would benefit from? And that creates the positive brand reputation. Um, we would write articles, blog posts. We can do your social media. We can create a podcast for you. You can send out newsletters. They'd be email marketing. So everything is really sitting around communication services. Okay. And why, why should I use PR instead of advertising or like more traditional advertising? What, what is Okay. So the difference, between the, the difference between the two. Okay. First of all, you advertising is everything is paid for. It's promoted through a variety of channels, online, print, TV, radio, your click ads, your paid for stuff on Facebook. That's advertising. Okay. Um, Although advertising may provide quicker results, the benefits of PR are longer lasting. PR is earned. So people would look at you and they would be trust. That's why it's earned. Advertising, anyone can pay to put an ad out there. It's not to say it's the truth. It doesn't say it's your um, authentically you. It's not your brand. It, anyone can put an ad out there. So although advertising may provide quicker results, the benefits of PR is just it's longer lasting. For, ex for, example, for example, your audience is likely to resonate, believe, and take note of key messages from an article as opposed to a paid advertisement when they're scrolling through social media. And our advice would always be to focus on PR or communication services in general with an add-on of paid for. So amplified your articles or your content through an advert. On social media okay for and then how important is pr to like a small business a lot of the time people are like you know pr is just for like these big companies how can it benefit a small business that doesn't have a big budget but still wants to maintain a positive image um first of all getting pr even when you're a small business is important because it, it creates your brand it supports your brand it maintains your brand reputation if you're going to put out an article out there, people are going to see it. It's not just an advert that's going to be targeted to a specific audience. Um, admittedly, public relations take more time and dedication, but earned media won't cost you nearly as much as paid advertising. And the trust and credibility that you are building is worth so much more than just an ad spend. Another thing is that small businesses often rely heavily on word of mouth. And a bad review can put a big dent in a brand's credibility. So implementing a PR strategy that involves crisis and community management can help prevent these issues and bad publicity by staying on top of what is being said okay. about your business. And, and then obviously, let's say I decide to go ahead with um, PR services. What can I expect um, from, like from the get-go? First of all, a small business needs to understand, or whoever it is, the business owner, the CEO, the founder, even if it's a large organization, it's going to take time. It isn't an overnight fix to marketing. The agency takes your message further and it gives greater impact. But there's no denying the fact that it's going to take time to build rapport, trust, and loyalty with the public. You can also very quickly make a splash in the public space because, as I mentioned earlier, a well-written and perfectly timed press release can get you quicker exposure and raise greater awareness than an, ad, than an advertising campaign. And it is important to note, though, that once a story is published, it will fade from the public's memory quickly. So you must sustain your messaging and communications over time. And Tim, I want to give you an example of this. Um, during COVID, I had a client that just started with PR. And what happened with this client, they're in the real estate industry and they put out a press release on advice to landlords during lockdown. And the amount of publicity they received for that article, radio interviews, online clips, it was fantastic because they put out something valuable. P 
people were worried, landlords were worried, my tenants have lost their income, they're not paying their rent, what must I do? And this guide that we put out for them, it was just phenomenal. And, and up to now, if you go back on their website statistics, it's one of the documents that was most that was downloaded the most and accessed the most because of the value it provided. Okay, so definitely PRs in the long run is very important. Yeah. Um, how do you measure success? Obviously, a lot of people will be like, I want PR, and then because it's such a slow process, how do you actually, how do you say, okay, this is how much value I'm getting from this? Yes, so um, first of all, with any campaign, you need to start off with goals, and we would start that from the onset. So what are the goals you want to achieve? And some of the ways that we measure success would be your press mentions, so how many times were you featured in a magazine, um, the impressions, the, the, how large the audience of that publication was. So it's not just important that an article was published, but it's also where. Um, your social media engagement, your uh, tracking the website traffic, and then measuring the number of backlinks to your website. So what that means is if IOL publishes an article about, about let's say, CF Communications, they actually link to my website. That's very valuable. Uh, two other items that we measure on, the one is sentiment. So is your article or your publication or whatever was published, is it positive, neutral, or negative? And you take that to say what the sentiment is that your audience has about what they're reading. And that, that ex so your company would be seen in a positive light or a negative light, depending on what you write about. There's two more other items that we measure success on. The first is, is sentiment. So it measures... Is your article being seen by the public as positive, negative, or neutral? Now, you do want it to be seen as positive. However, sometimes this subject might be negative. So COVID is a negative subject or um, uh, lockdown would be a negative subject, subject. But depending on what you write about it, the actual outcome could be positive. And then the last thing that we measure on would be your share of voice. So if a newsletter goes out, for example, by Biz Community, we look at where in this newsletter my article is. Who are the other people that's in this newsletter? Did they mention competitors? Did they mention industry leaders? Um, in an article, if, uh, let's say, for example, Sunday Times writes an in-depth story and they use different sources and my client was used or my company was used, who are they also using as sources? So who, who am I being mentioned with? So share a voice. That's something that we also report on. Okay. And then the final question um, is why should I hire a PR agency? Like what is the, obviously we've discussed a lot of the benefits, but just in a nutshell, like off the top of your head, what, why, why should I have a PR agency? Okay. A business's success largely depends on trust and public recognition. We know this. PR professionals have worked hard to build meaningful relationships with journalists and media contacts. They've also access to tools that allow them to communicate quickly with the press and other online publications. Hiring a team to help your PR is not only beneficial as media specialists, but it could save you a ton of time. PR is tedious and there's just no shortcuts when it comes to building substantial relationships. And um, Tim, we'll be talking more about the benefits of hiring a PR agency in our next episode. So we'll, we'll go in depth in that episode. Okay, cool. Um, one last question for you, Kathleen, just, uh, just to round it off. Um, why do people say that there's no such thing as bad press? Okay, Tim, the reason for that is that you have an opportunity to recover. You're, you were, maybe you were unknown, maybe your business was small. And now you mention in the media and people know about you. And the key thing is that you immediately address it in the correct way to, to, to turn that negative into a positive. So, yes, companies, companies are scared. They are scared that there's going to be backlash. There's going to be a, a client or a customer that complains about something or an incident that happens. And that's why you need a PR agency from the get-go. You don't look for someone to help you when you're sitting in the midst of this crisis. It's going to take too long. There should be someone right there at that moment to respond. And it, it becomes a second nature to an agency 
Plus, we created at the start of your journey with us is you have a crisis, a crisis management segment in our agreement so that we know who gets called, mm. what do we say, what do we not say, who handles the PR that, you know, the activity or the media um, requests that come in, this incident happened, who do we speak to? So you, you plan for it, actually. You plan for it, and because you plan for it, you can, you can um, sustain it and you can turn it around into something positive. That is amazing. I think, and that also ties up with the name of this podcast, which is Own Your Story. And I think that's, just in summary, that's exactly what, what PR is all about. It's to take the initiative to control the story, control the narrative, and be able to always come out on top at the end of the day. Thank you very much, Kathleen. Um, I think that's uh, a wrap for episode two, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see everybody in the next episode. Thanks for listening to Own Your Story. To find out more about CF Communications, please visit www.cfcommunications.co.za and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.